what do you think corruption is and in what ways do you think corruption manifests in our daily life? I think as a Nigerian we all know what corruption is. Generally corruption, there are ill deeds like bribery, stealing and all sorts of ill deeds in general. Ill deeds. I also think corruption happens in every country of the world. It's not just a Nigerian thing but it's just more prevalent. It's allowed to happen more in Nigeria. So elections are around the corner. In 2023, Nigerians are going to the polls. How do you think corruption manifests in an election process? Number one, uh, vote buying. You see a uh, huge uh, corruption playing a part in the by vote buying, where you see politicians do come and uh, meet the ordinary Nigerian who are normally at the voters, ordinary Nigeria, the people with, with minimal awareness. And number two, um, voting someone whom you know deep down, you know, 100% is not qualified. Paying people to add extra votes for your side. Okay, like um, vote buying, that's the, um, what do you call it, um, major cor corruption aspect of it. And then um, using money to change electoral processes, to in intimidate um, electorates and, you know, and then probably um, using money too to influence the electoral officials as well, the INEC and all that. So that's part of what I think is the corruption happening in our electoral space in Nigeria. Have you hmm. been out to vote? Uh, no, no. So tell no. me, what is my patriotic concern still doing at home while the elections are ongoing? Oh, well, I've been following the, the television analysis. Ruben Kiribati. Is speaking grammar. And you? I gave them my own arguments. Oh, and they could not take it. You claim you want different results, yet you won't mm. change the pattern. All the ones that were voted mm -hmm. until now. Mm -hmm. You know, just elections are not won by, by arguing on social media. Mm -hmm. Elections are won when you take that your one single vote and add it to a pool of larger votes. That's how you win elections. Hmm. Get me my cup. This message is from Akin Fadei Foundation with support from Mark Arthur Foundation. From